Pokemon fans, winter is upon us. As you can see, it is snowing, and so it is. What is up, Pokemon fans? Christmas is upon us, and so is episode number two of Budget Battle with none other than fellow Pokemon YouTuber, Leon Hart. We have a $10 budget today. That is cutting in half from last week's budget of $20. So it's gonna be a little bit harder this time, so we have to get a little creative. So Leon Hart, are you up for the challenge? Because we're about to get us some good pulls. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we can do it. I'm thinking we can do it, so let's Let's do it. All right, guys, here is the Pokemon card section. Now we gotta look at prices because we cannot spend over $10 before taxes and already. Can I can can I get this lean heart? Can can this count? Because this is pretty cool. Alright, so $10. We got booster packs for $3.98. We could really only get two booster packs and then we have a couple dollars left over so that would be like a waste um this is too expensive we do get five cards in one booster pack but that uh th those typically are not that good we're out of the price range of the three um a three booster blister that'd be cool we're only like three dollars over that um we could essentially maybe get this right here this is about five dollars and then one booster pack but can we do we really want to try our luck with these i've never had any luck with them i don't know about you guys but my luck has not been that good with those all right um whoo man guys if you remember last week we did the mystery power cube we had a 20 dollars budget last week and this week we're cutting it in half man what are we going to get for ten dollars i really don't want to get just two booster packs that'd be awesome if they had something on clearance you know what you know what actually i think we'll do i have i have an idea this may be dangerous but I have an idea. Okay guys, so there wasn't a whole lot of cheap Pokemon cards, so I decided not to get anything here at Walmart because I have another idea that might benefit me, but it's also a big risk if I do this as well. So we gotta head to another store for this one. The Dollar Tree. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten one dollar Dollar Tree booster packs, not wasting a single cent. Let's do it. What's up, Pokemon fans? Today we have episode number two of Budget Battle with none other than fellow Pokemon YouTuber Leon Hart. I wish I had some trumpets right now so I could sound the horns. <laughs> That's my Budget Battle horn. All right, guys, if you are new to the series, let me fill you in real quick. Every single week, both me and Leon Hart do a Budget Battle here on my channel as well as his channel. We give ourselves a weekly dollar amount budget. So like this week, we have a $10 budget. Last week, we had a $20 budget. So we both go out, we can buy any Pokemon TCG products we want, but it has to stay under that dollar amount. And then you guys, yes, all of you, the Heart Squad and the PokeFam Nation are gonna decide who had the better pulls from their products. And you're gonna do that by leaving a comment both in my video as well as Leon Hart's video. This is all up to you. This is up to you. You have the power to decide who is going to win this week. And like I said, with $10, $10, it's a little hard, but you have to get creative. All right, so obviously, as you guys saw, I went to Walmart first. I was hoping that maybe I could find a good deal or a sale or I could even price match online, but unfortunately, there was nothing. So it was either buy like two booster packs and call it a day, or I had to get a little bit creative. So that's where I decided to go ahead and take the risk and go over to the Dollar Tree and buy 10 $1 Dollar Tree booster packs and hopefully maybe I can get something good. And here is the receipt if you've never seen Dollar Tree booster packs. They're all $1 and we have to spend the dollar amount before tax. So afterwards it comes out at $10.70, but beforehand it comes out at $10. So before tax is the budget amount. I got Sun and Moon. They also had Ancient Origins, Breakthrough. Um, I think they had a couple Roaring Skies. I decided to go with Sun and Moon because we also got those Hyper Rare, Rainbow Rare cards in there. And I thought that might give me a better shot at pulling something 
Fantastic and phenomenal. I gotta get I gotta get in the zone. Gotta get in the zone, right? Gotta get 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 your head in the game. High school musical, you know what I'm talking about. Make sure that if you have not yet watched Leon Hart's video, that you go watch Leon Hart's video afterwards. A link to his video will be down in my video description. And let us know in both of our videos' comments who you think had the better polls between Leon Hart and the Hart Squad and Real Breaking Nate and the Poke Fam Nation. Alright, here we go, guys. Let's just get into it. I'm nervous. I'm nervous because I risked all $10 on these Dollar Tree booster packs. So I could get something bad. I could get something good. All right. We have a Wingle. Oh, <laughs> Leonhardt. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Right off the bat with a Full Art Espeon GX. Whoa. Okay. And a Polywhirl. Oh, man. Leonhardt. I am sorry, man. Already out of the gate with the phenomenal pulls and as you saw as you saw i just went and i just grabbed 10 10 booster packs that's all i did wow wow look at that that is that is a beautiful beautiful card and we actually in yesterday's video pulled an umbreon gx so i guess this makes sense i guess this makes sense all right so okay wow okay i cannot believe we are already off to such a crazy start Leon Hart, I don't know if you can beat that. I don't know if you can beat that, buddy. Ugh. All right. Sometimes Dollar Tree booster packs can be your friend for sure. Throw trash on the ground, World Tour 2017. We won't be able to say that for much longer. Uh, pick a peck. What can birds do? Birds can fly. Fly away, birds. We have a Carvana, and we have a Fairy Energy. Let me file that energy away in my energy filing cabinet right back there. Um, and then, of course, you get the ad. The little ad cards right here. If you've never bought a Dollar Tree booster pack before, um, they are $1. They come with three cards, uh, and you can pull anything from the set, um, but you're not guaranteed to get a rare. Um, it could all be commons or uncommon cards. Zubat, another Carvana, and a Toracat, and then our ad card at the very end. You can pull secret rares. You can pull hyper rares. You can pull anything your heart desires as long as you believe in yourself. I don't know why. I just feel like I had to say that. I just feel like I had to give you some encouragement that you should believe in yourself. Uh, Snubble, uh, Makuhita Reverse Holo, and a Crushing Hammer, and then the ad once again. Um, I have yet to find any Crimson Invasion Dollar Tree booster packs, but they should be popping up anytime soon. I was hoping that maybe before uh, Christmas time they would pop up. All right, we have a Bond Suite, a Skarmory, and another energy. Let me file that energy away in my energy filing cabinet that I keep right behind me. Okay, one, two, uh, three, four, five booster packs left. Five booster packs. We got an Incineroar artwork booster pack. Let's see if that brings us any luck. Oh, and we got a bird. And what do birds do? Birds fly. Um, we have a Makuhita and another energy. Wow, I'm throwing lots of cards behind me today. Okay, going into the next booster pack. Four booster packs left. Can we pull another ultra rare at least? We have a Shelter, a Dartrix right there, Reverse Hollow, and a Kraka Raka 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 Raka. So we have gotten two Reverse Hollows and a Full Art Espeon GX Ultra Rare card. Ah, Spiro. Wow, lots of birds. Um, a Grubbin and a Poison Barb. All right, so what's kind of weird is that I don't think we've pulled any rares yet. We have not pulled, and besides this GX right here, we have not pulled any rares. But you know what? The Espeon GX just might take the cake. We have a Torkoal, a Zubat, and an Energy. Okay, last booster pack, PokeFam Nation. Can we pull through with some last pack awesomeness, amazingness? Shine your magic through the camera. Give us something awesome. Togedemaru. Love saying that name. Togedemaru. Toga All right. And our oh, Chen Chow. So if you ever get a rare card, it's going to be in the middle. And a charge of bug. That was a very electrifying booster pack. Huh? See what I did there? See, see, see. Electric, all electric, electric. Yeah. All right, and if you guys want to take a look at everything that was pulled out of our Dollar Tree booster packs, here we go. Here's all the commons and uncommons right here. I'm pretty sure that I didn't miss any rares. And then the good stuff, we have a Reverse Holo Dartrix. We have a Reverse Holo Makuhita. And then the amazing card that we pulled, the Full Art 
Espeon GX. Now, this is technically the only rare card that we pulled. Will it be good enough for myself and the PokeFam Nation to pull through for this week's budget battle to win against Leon Hart? That's not up to me. That is up to all of you guys. So make sure in the comment section down below, you're letting us know if myself or Leon Hart won this week's budget battle. Also make sure that you're going and watching Leon Hart's video first before you decide who won. Now, a link to his video will be down in my video description down below. Guys, every single week, we post Budget Battle here on Thursday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Now, don't forget, guys, tomorrow is Friday, and every single Friday here on the channel, we do our weekly series where we go to the store and we hunt for hidden Pokemon booster packs. So yeah, guys, the series is so much fun. We go to the store and we hunt for hidden Pokemon TCG products. Maybe they're simply just out of place or they've fallen behind a shelf. Those are the only booster packs that we can get and those are the only booster packs that we buy. So make sure you tune in tomorrow and check out that series. Guys, it is so, so much fun. All right, Pokemon fans, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more fun Pokemon videos just like this one, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Become part of the PokeFam Nation one of the coolest, most fun, and positive Pokemon communities here on YouTube. I want you to be a part of it. Now it is time to get to the world's biggest Pokemon card advent calendar made entirely out of, yes, made entirely out of Pokemon TCG tents. We've been giving away prize every single day leading all the way up till the 25th of December. It's so much fun, guys. You've been enjoying it. So let's go ahead and get to that right now. All right, guys, we are back with the world's Biggest Pokemon card advent calendar. All you gotta do to win one of these prizes is be a subscriber, so become part of the Pokemon Nation. And in the comment section down below, tell me a cool Pokemon story, or maybe tell me uh, something fun and positive, or something cool you're doing this weekend. You get the gist of what we're doing here. It's fun. All right, guys, we're going to jump in here and see what we got. Oh man, look at this. We have we have coins galore. Look at this, coins galore. We got Pikachu's. We got Froakies. We got Xerneas's, and then we also have. The Como oh 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 GX promo card, guys. That is super easy to win. The winner will be announced in December 18th. That is Monday's video. So make sure you tune in to see if you are a winner. All right, PokeFam Nation, that is it for today's video. I had a blast hanging out with all of you awesome people. So make sure you come back for tomorrow's video so we can hang out some more. And in the meantime, check out some of the previous videos like you see on the side of your screen right over here. We got this one, or we got this one right down here, or there's many, many, many more fun Pokemon videos here on this channel. Guys, I hope you have a phenomenal, fantastic, awesome rest of your day, and I will see all of you, all of you awesome people, in tomorrow's video. Peace, love, and a high five.